morning, this is Dr. Sunny. I just wanted to go over what we have coming up this next week in your public speaking course. So your very first speech is due this week. To be clear, this speech does not require a live audience. It does require a two to three minute video of you speaking. You should be outlining this speech before you present it and then transferring your notes from your preparation outline, which includes everything you are going to say, to a note card, um, which will serve as your speaking outline, that will serve as reference for you while you're giving the speech. Be sure to show the note card at the beginning or the end of the speech. If you forget, that's okay. You can upload a picture in your discussion where you post your speech as a reply. Some hints on this speech. It asks you to introduce yourself and to highlight your strengths and weaknesses as a speaker. I recommend that you use those as your main points. Main point one, an introduction of yourself. Main point two, your strengths as a speaker. And main point three, your weaknesses as a speaker. Those are all, of course, interchangeable depending on how you write your speech. Now, a few hints for getting the most points possible. First, look at the rubric for the speech. Every speech has this and it's available to you before you begin working on your speech. So you can see exactly how I'll be grading and know where you can earn the most points. Now in doing that, you are going to notice a few things and these are the hints that I wanna give you on how you can get the maximum amount of points. So the first thing is I want you to write an introduction and a conclusion. And let's just take that introduction first. Your introduction should begin the very first things we hear you say out of your mouth with something that relates to your speech and gets the audience's attention. You also in that introduction want to establish your credibility. Now this is really easy in a speech where you're introducing yourself and it'll sort of be implicit for this speech. But beyond that, you wanna to relate to the audience. Your audience in this speech is your classmates. So make sure that you say something in that introduction that makes them want to listen more. You also want to introduce your topic or thesis for this speech, so letting us know the purpose of this speech. And you want to preview your main points. So today I'm going to introduce myself, tell, me, tell you more about me and my strengths and weaknesses as a speaker. You'll then transition into that first main point. But if you notice, when you do the introduction like that, you aren't just starting with, Hi, my name's Sunny. I'm in your public speaking class. I might start with a story that told you something about me that relates to this speech, something that grabs your attention. Now, in the conclusion, you are going to kind of do some of the same things in reverse. One, you want to make sure you signal that the conclusion is happening. You want to review the main points that you presented and you want to reinforce that thesis. You also want to leave us with something memorable at the end that the audience can really latch on to, something that relates to your speech, inspirational, a quote, um, a provocative question. And if you follow those, your speech is going to be much stronger than it might be. Look at that rubric. Make sure you show us your note card that you use to present your speech. Do not read off the screen. Don't wing it. Um, there are a lot of tutorials in the toolbox which are directly related to different criteria in that rubric. For example, on framing, turn your phone sideways so you don't have those black bars on the side. And we can really see your hands for gestures. Remember, you can't get points for gestures if we can't see your hands. Um, make sure you have good lighting. Make sure we can clearly hear you. Make sure you look professional. Um, that's the first speech. You'll also, before you do that, be completing a quiz, the beginning quiz. You can take this multiple times. It's untimed. And if you find any errors on that, you can submit those to find an extra, find an edit, get extra credit. Now, two extra credit assignments this week. First is to transcribe your speech. There's a tutorial on that, both from the directions for that extra credit assignment and in the toolbox. You should be typing every single word you say with punctuation. Um, YouTube will automatically transcribe for you, and it's okay if you start from that, but I shouldn't be seeing spelling errors, especially with your name. I should be seeing punctuation, and it should make sense in a way that you took the time to transcribe that. 
The other extra credit assignment relates to the communication cycle drawing, and you are going to draw your own version of this and embed the image in the discussion. Now when you do that, make sure we can see that image and you can see it. Um, also make sure that it's not turned sideways. Remember, you're trying to show an understanding and awareness of the audience. So you want to make sure that the information is presented accurately and clearly, which would mean not a sideways image. All of that is due this coming Sunday. If you can't submit by then, you can always submit late with our 1% late penalty per day. Other than that, we're off to a roaring start. I would encourage you to not only tackle the beginning speech this week, but perhaps move on to the next module and get ahead. You never know what's going to happen in the future. As always, if you have any questions about these assignments, please post them to the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions. It is linked from the course homepage and every assignment in the course. A little note on that, don't send me an inbox message thinking it's a special exception. Um, usually all of those, I just ask students to post that to the FAQ or if it's a personal issue, post it to reports. That allows me to keep track of all of your messages to me chronologically in a drop down menu. Whereas my inbox, I archive and delete all of the messages out of that. So use those tools in our course. I'm really excited to see y'all and see what you come up with for this speech and the work in this module. Have a great week.